I ain't done. Uh, okay, so I just recently learned what a 15-minute city is. Well, I'm not going to say I recently learned. I learned what a 15-minute city is, and uh, I also, a while back, I came across this startling realization that I realized, that I learned that there was a guy in Japan who managed to turn poop into energy. Like, for I think it was electrical energy. He managed to power a light bulb using poop. And I just need y'all to understand something real quick. At first, I was disgusted. But then it just dawned on me. This is a great idea. There's a lot of things that are remarkably great ideas that we just haven't even considered. Like, I feel like we just haven't even considered because either A, we just don't like, like we're used to things being the way that they are, or B, it's just something that we're just not even, it's just not something that we would actually consider. And one of those things is 15 minute cities. And it aggravates, for those who don't know what a 15 minute city is, it's basically like a city. Uh, I think it's like, I, I'm not, I, I can't give you the best example of it, but just hear me out here. It's basically like the equivalent of, it's like a city without, a city where you won't need a car in because everything is like within reasonable distance of each other. You could like walk to some place or you could like have a, you could like literally walk where you would need to go to or you would like probably like, you don't know, probably like need a bike. You probably won't need, like you'll still drive a car to get there, but it's not impossibly far. It's not like, it's not a 15, like it's not like a ridiculous way away that you would need a car to get there. You could like literally walk there or take a bike or whatever. You know, I think it's like a city. I think it's maybe a city without roads. I'm not sure, but like I, but it's like it just sounds remarkably convenient because the only reason why things are so far away is to keep cars relevant. And it's like 15 minute cities would just completely like hamper, just like completely hunker down cars. Like I just really feel like in the nation that is hyper obsessed with cars, the more we realize that cars are just ways to keep oil magnates in power because you know you, you know you're not really like. We don't really use oil that much, or rather we do, and the most convenient way that we use it is through, you know, heating houses up and um, putting uh, putting um, gas in our car. But it's like, you know, the oil magnates really just kind of need to just make another couple billion, so it's like, but it's like, yeah, you get rid of that, like, like you know, 15-minute cities, railways, railways, like, what the heck, railways, bro, are you serious, these are, it's just, like, stuff like this would just really help out a little bit, and also, I did start this off by talking about poop as a power source, and I need you to understand real quick, I'm endorsing that idea, just, like, at first, it's like, oh my god, it's disgusting, because poop is the ultimate dirt, right, like, when you think of dirty, you think of dirt outside, like, soil, and then you think of poop, and it's like these, I don't like saying the word poop, by the way. I also don't like saying the word better, but you're going to have to bear with me on this one. But like, like imagine being able to get paid just to cop a squat. Are y'all aware of what that means? Like, just imagine, like, you know, like, look, I, you, you're not going to find oil in your, there's a good chance you're not going to find oil in your backyard, but everybody poops. So it's like if you turn poop into like a power source that is you like first off that's be, like is a better replacement for crude oil because first off we have a whole bunch of it so it's not like it's not like something that's going to go away in a while it's something that everybody does everything does you know what I'm saying and 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 and, and it's like you know like obviously plumbers are going obviously plumbers are going to like make so much money off of this like now we have it's like we'll have to worry about big like big oil will probably be a thing of the past but now big plumbers are going to be a big thing but everybody's capable of being a plumber not everybody can be an oil magnate or like the son of an oil magnate or the child of an oil magnate but we can all be plumbers we can all work septic stuff we all kind of have an idea we can all like learn a little bit more about like how to utilize the bathroom and make things also it was like it, just on a social level poop as a power source will literally like affect our diets you know what I mean because we'll find ourselves eating healthier because you know healthier <coughs> and I'm pretty sure healthier people have healthier poops I don't know how it works but the human body and the human body is weird but it just feels like on a social level that's just a really good idea you know but also back to the 15 minute cities thing like that the, the, the thing I kind of don't like about the 15 minute city idea is the fact that there's criticisms about it you know what I mean? It's just like, you would rather drive everywhere. You would rather waste money on gas, whereas you could be saving money by just walking to where you need to go to or getting more physically fit by taking a bike ride to where you need to go to. You are an idiot. I just, it's like, it's like you'll be more physically fit if you just walk where you need to go to. And Or or it's like, you know, I, and I'm tired. Of, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I hate driving. 
I've always hated driving. I've always hated the concept of driving. I hate the idea that driving was like when I was younger, um, driving was like the ultimate like was like the ultimate thing that made you an adult because like they basically made it seem like well when you start driving you're gonna have the freedom to do whatever you want to. I knew that that was crap when I was 16 because of the fact that it was like gas cut gas prices started getting higher. I started paying attention to like you know like cars will like break down really fast. At car accidents is very possible because people don't know how to drive. It's like driving is cool. Driving is free. It's a good feeling to have, but it shouldn't be like it shouldn't be something that you need to do. The fact that the matter is that not everybody is gonna have a car. Not everybody is gonna keep a car. Some people get into accidents. Some cars break down. Cars are expensive. Cars are expensive, and jobs are paying less. Like. It's like we fifteen minute cities will actually be serve as a benefit to some people, and it's like the sheer fact that we don't have that is just wild to me. The sheer fact that we don't have uh, fifteen minute cities or a reliable form of transportation for people who don't have access to transportation. Well, I mean, they could just do ride sharing, ride sharing, which is like triple digits depending on how far you need to go. Bro, we could literally be having like train stations take us to like from state to state in like less time and less money. It's, it's like. The fact America is like you know I just really I don't like the idea of capitalism because of the fact that it just ruins it ruins good ideas, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like you know because the whole idea is you know you got to make as much much money as possible. The problem is that the rich people who are lazy and stupid are at the top and they don't know how to have good ideas to get themselves like you know happy consumers will spend more money, happy workers will work more. Like doing stuff that benefits the people at the bottom. Is going to ultimately like help out everybody at the top. Everybody wins if we win. Why? Why is this such a? Why is this such a foreign concept? All oh, right, because the people at the top are obsessed with slavery than they are about actually benefiting anyone. It's just wild to me. It's like I would love to like if I had access, if, if I had the money, if I had the money, I would establish my own fifteen minute city. And fun fact. There are 15 minute cities that exist already. They're called military bases. I lived on a military base before. And if I wanted to, I could walk to any, like I would literally, I literally, uh, I say this all the time. I was uh, working at a military base in uh, Hanford, California. And I was, I was washing dishes at the, uh, at the, I think it was not the galley, not the cantina. It was like a restaurant over there, but I would wash the dishes over there. And after I get done washing the dishes, I will go. I will go literally off work and just go take a walk across the street to go to the gym. Across the street. It was literally just a, it was literally just a. And I'll be there. By the way, shout out to the, uh, shout out to the, uh, the people who are probably like still working over there. I'm not sure if anybody is still working over there. I've, it has, it's been like what, like almost a decade. But the fact of the matter is that like it was just 15 minute cities already existed. If you really wanted to, you could just, you could jog to where you need to go to. You could take a bike to where you needed to go to, to where you need to go to if you're like, if you live in a military base because everything is like right there. It's like right within that area. It's a little small city. 15 minute cities exist because of the fact that. Like navy boats exist. You're gonna seriously sit here and tell me we can't do that sort of thing for just normal people? It has to be for the military. Thanks a lot, Ronald Reagan. I'm learning about Ronald Reagan a lot more now, and I'm realizing that like when everybody talks about how bad of a president Ronald Reagan was, it's just really it really takes into consideration. Like I'm reading up on him and he's 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 trash, man. He was not a good guy. I can't get past how bad of a president this dude was. This dude, for everything like for everything that he was, for everything that he is, was a god awful president. He literally took things away from poor people and gave it to the military. And then to make matters even, he took he defanged the government. So it's like if we if every comp everything that you can complain about with the government being like kind of useless or insufficient or just straight up out to get you specifically is because Ronald Reagan took money away from them. For them to like target people of relevance, it's just very stressful. So it's like I'm learning about Ronald Reagan right now. I'm also learning about uh, Chester Arthur, uh, uh, Chester Arthur too. And uh, I, I, it's just like it's, every president that I've instinctively wanted to learn about have all been Republican. I didn't even think about that until just now, because like I mean like Warren Harding, Chester Arthur, Ronald Reagan. Uh, there's another president uh, I want. I mean obviously Richard Nixon. I mean because of his whole scandal thing. 
And it's just like it just bothers it just boggles my mind that these are people that I like instinctively wanted to learn about because thanks to like you know like old school cartoons like referencing them in some fashion and now I'm just like they're all Republican. Huh. I would also like to learn about Woodrow Wilson, but Woodrow Wilson was a garbage racist. So it's, he's a garbage racist with terrible teeth. So whatever. I'm just aggravated by the fact that it's like we have so many. It's like capitalism ruins good ideas because the people. Because the people who make the most money ultimately are the ones who push the ideas. And all they do is just, like, say, how do we enslave the poor even better than we already are? It's like, God, man. It's like, I don't, I, I'm, I'm very frustrated by this. It's like, we could have, we, we could have literally, we could literally be making money sitting, we could literally be making money sitting on the toilet right now. You know what I'm saying? After we go take a walk from our after we go take a walk from like grocery shopping with our high with our ridiculously high paychecks that we had that we just got done paying all of our bills with we could literally have this world and well that's a that's kind of like a utopia you don't really utopias don't exist the, I, the fact that utopias don't exist should motivate you to try to push towards making a utopia of course utopias don't exist but god dog this is terrible dystopias are not great either like I understand, like, the concept of perfection not existing, but what is wrong with actually, like, working towards being perfect instead of just enabling stupid rich people? <sighs> Whatever, though. Uh, I, I'm, 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 like I said, I'm very frustrated, but, yeah, it's just something I just thought about. Like, you know, we can like, we, like, like I say, we, nope, we, we're not going to dig in the backyard and find oil. But we can literally, we, we, like, we, we can literally have poop powered energy powered by us. And we could be making money off of that. Do you, do you know what that means? It's just, it's just wild. I know it's disgusting, but just, just think about that for a second. We could, there's so much more that we could be doing as a society to just benefit from things. And we're just not. Because there's something out there stopping us from doing that. And you know who they are? Rich folk. Corporations. Can we at least get them to stop lobbying with Congress? Can we at least do that? Something? I'm rambling. I'm sorry. Y'all be easy. Love and peace.